This video is sponsored by Zebronics.com. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build then make sure to check out Zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information check out the link in the description below. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I customize my After Effects workspace to increase my workflow and also which plugins and script I prefer the most in After Effects and also some other quick tips along the way that can help you to increase your After Effects workflow and use it like a boss. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so when you open After Effects for the first time or if you haven't customized After Effects layout, then your layout should look probably like this. This is the standard After Effects layout as you can see. Characters, Align tab and Preview tab right over here. This is our timeline and this is our project panel and the effects control. Really basic and simple. But you can see right over here, I have some custom made layouts that is dope motions a different one for tutorials and a different one when i'm working with templates and this dope motions is for when i when i'm doing client projects so if i just click right over here you can see my layout gets updated with a different kind of you know layout basically <laughs> and here you can see here you can see i have the line tab the character the paragraph and the preview and the reason my layout looks like this is because when i'm working for some client projects I, I create ton of compositions and you know all the I like to see all the project what to say the project assets right over here and I don't like to do you know just scale it like not scale it basically just move it 10 or more than you know keep it moving up and down just to see what layers are where and something like that and here I have the effects control panel because if the effects control panel is right over here it, it, it can be you know easy to use but you need, you need to switch it regularly just to see the effect on a particular subject or the layer so I like to keep it right over here so it's under my reach and I have designed it according to my requirements but of course you can design it according to your requirements like for example I use the move anchor point and auto crop script a lot so I have docked the script already right over here then I also like to align you know I like to keep text and layers really nicely aligned from center or something like that I like like to be precise when it comes to alignment so I keep the align tab right over here then character tab for fonts obviously you use font a lot and paragraph and preview and, and we don't really need this so we can just close this up I don't really use that so this is how my you know client project workspace looks like then I have a different workspace for my tutorial and I like to keep it really clean and neat so if I create a new comp, I can easily, you know, see the, see anything that is, let's say something, if I have something like a text, maybe I can easily see it and we can also switch between the effects and control cause. I'm not really doing that much of work cause the client project takes a lot of time and a lot of work, obviously. So working with tutorials is a different kind of you know process and working for client projects and templates is a different kind of process and workflow. And one more thing, one more script that I like to use a lot is if I hit control space, this one. Now a lot of people ask me about what is this pop up kind of thing that you bring up and that is basically the effects console script which is absolutely free and absolutely amazing from Andrew Kramer video copilot so make sure to check it out I highly highly recommend it it has increased my workflow like more than like I'll say 50% or 50 times you know cause it's really easy you know if I have let's say I have a new layer maybe something like a let's say null object and I want to add some effect pretty quick I can just hit and I also have some effect shortcuts and these are the effects that I use on regular basis that is the fill curves drop shadow four color gradient and i don't know what this is the fast blur and element 3d so these are the few effects that i use on regular basis so i've just dogged it up right over here and if you want to see how to customize it you can obviously check out andrew kramer's video he, he has an in-depth 
video on how to use the script so basically what i can do is let's say i want to add a tint effect i can just type in tint and bam really simple instead of going right over here typing tint then searching it up you know then dragging it and you know doing this stuff so it increased it, it's okay it's okay to use this but if you are on a tight schedule this will increase your time a lot so i'll just delete this for now and basically this is how my template workspace looks like and when i'm while i'm making templates i like to keep everything right over here under my reach so i have docked it right just like this you can you know obviously just drag it and place it somewhere else according to your requirements you know do on this and place it just wherever you want and then you can just click right over here and then change save changes to workspace to this workspace or you know save as a new workspace and basically give it any name that you like and there you have it next time you turn on after effects and click on templates you're gonna get a workspace like this so this is the whole idea behind how i increase my workflow or like to work you know really fast and it helps to increase your workflow and helps you work a little bit more faster and easily so i highly recommend to you know customize your workflow before starting any project according to your requirements then let's hop into some scripts that i prefer the most so i'm going to just set this to default for now and if i go into windows you can see i have tons and tons of script which i don't really use much but the some of the you know script that i regularly use or i really love to use is the cluster and if you want to see all the scripts you know you know how the scripts works and all let me know in the comment section below i can make a video on my top 10 scripts or maybe top 10 favorite plugins as well showing you guys a quick example on how to use them so if you want to if you want me to create a video on that let me know in the comment section below and i'll definitely create one so one is the cluster which i use really regularly really regularly <laughs> what i'm saying then the dojo renamer again really good script element 3d mograph uh, i don't really use that much easy cam now nah, nothing and uh, let's a gif gun i use to create gif gif images or gif images whatever you call it so i use the script a lot and this was a sponsor script and gif gun and um, element 3d mograph and I, i'll be i'll be creating a dedicated video on element 3d mograph soon and then move anchor point script motion 2 i use this a lot spring effects are really amazing script again then true comp duplicator so you don't need to you know go ahead and duplicate every single comp you can just click on true comp duplicator you can check out their video they have really nicely explained it and some of this and you know 50 percent of the scripts are free and 50 percent of them are you need to buy them or you know something like that some of them i have bought and some of them are sponsored so yeah that's how it goes now let's hop in into effects and preset and let me show you guys which plugins i prefer the most now as you can see i have tons and tons of plug uh, scripts not not plugins actually and tons of tons on effects and preset and i don't really use all of them but you know you can anytime need them so i just kept it just for you know just for showcase maybe i don't know anyway so the first effect that i use a lot is magic bullet plugin i use this effect or plugin a lot then video copilot obviously i love all his plugins and presets so i have all the video copilot you know collection you can see of optical flares heat distortion element 3d of course twitch color vibrance saber one of the best plugin and i really love it then we have the trap code again really important plugins that you can use and yes i i will i'll try to create a you know dedicated tutorial on plugins if you guys recommend it so yup then we have revision i don't really use this plugins much but i use this a lot that is the real smart motion blur it helps to you know it, it creates some really nice motion blurs without you know using much ramp so yep it's really handy instead of using the inbuilt motion blur you can use the real smart motion blur then this then which one i use the most 
then I use basically most of the time most of the time I use the inbuilt effects I really hardly use plugins sometimes I use you know trap code form a particular a lot but most of the time I just use inbuilt presets and effects in After Effects so yup so I highly recommend you guys to check out the inbuilt you know effects and preset like many people ask me like where do you get this plugin where okay, where can i get this really cool plugin or something like that and i just say that first try to explore after effects a lot because there are if you you know if you go in depth and see all the inbuilt effects and presets in after effects you can basically get the job done it may take a bit more time than with when then you do with plugins but you can you know almost do it without using plugins so plugins are not really that that important to have you can i can use after effects with if you don't give me any plugins i kill i would still love using after effects because i really like the software and how it is built and how easy it is to you know you can increase your creativity and put it into you know animation really easily other than like 3ds max i don't really like 3ds max because i don't know I, I i know to use that software but i don't really love that software cause of the interface or i don't know what it is but you know you know every person has a different taste before ending this video let me give you guys a quick tip maybe you can go into edit preference and set the preferences according to your requirements so the first thing that i like to do is change the colors of the tag so i like to keep it really bright and vibrant so when you create anything you know if i just said okay and if i create a new composition and maybe create a new solid you can see the colors are really vibrant and in and by default this are not going to be that vibrant this are going to be really dull so i highly recommend it to change the colors so you can see your layers even more properly then what i would like to prefer is give a dedicated ramp now i have 16 gb of ramp installed on my system so i i just give 12 gb for after effects and 4 gb for other things so you can you know anytime change it if you want to according to your work how kind of work that you do on your system depends on that then appearance again i like to keep it really bright color blue then for media dish cache i like to keep it around 40 gb you can also keep it at 100 gb if you have that but i think 40 gb 40 to 50 gb is enough for this cache but don't keep it like 5 or 10 gb give it minimum like 20 gb at least and also keep when you work and if you know when you're working with heavy projects and if your after effects starts hanging or lagging what i really recommend is going to edit so it's cleaning the disk cache and database so let me take a few seconds so what i usually do is i go to edit and purge and all this cache and memory just click on it and it's gonna you know clean up the ramp ram that has been used so it, it will it will make your project a bit more lighter then i like to use is go to edit or maybe file and dependencies so when you're working with templates and all that stuff and when you're completed with your project and if you want to get rid of all the unnecessary you know footages or effects that you don't really you're, that you're not using in the project and you need to clean it up so you, what you can do is just go into dependencies and Reduct project and what this is gonna do is it's gonna keep just the files that are required for the project particular project and it's gonna delete all the unnecessary files so yeah this are some quick tips and this is how I work in After Effects and I think this video will help you guys in some other way and if it does make sure to comment subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw Stay creative.